than Polly Bush. Oh, hey, kids. We're back with another episode for our Project Miata Exocet build. Woo. We feel like nobody really knows what that's, this is, but we're going to keep building it anyways because it's awesome. So what are we doing tonight, Matthew? Some Polly Bushings. Polly Bushings. Now, I have Polly Bushings in three of my cars. My NA and ND Miata and my FDR 7 as I've gotten older, I've come to maybe regret the decision to go to poly bushings. Yes, they're much more rigid and stiff than the OEM bushings, and there's a lot less bushing deflection, um, but they do become very uh, punishing as time goes on. On our extra set, on the other hand, though, we don't really care, because yeah, that thing's kind of like... That's gonna, that thing's going to no be a punishment. There's no compliance in that thing anyways. So what we have here is an energy suspension full master kit, and we're going to walk you through one of each of the control arms on the Miata, except for the rear uppers because those were getting new ones for our Paco Motorsports Long Travel Rally Suspension Kit, if it ever gets here. Yeah, where is that? I don't know. They have, they're out of stock of one of the springs. And... Uh, so anyways, but it's all the same. So once you see a few of these, you'll be able to do them on your own. They're actually very easy. The one thing that I'm going to tell you to invest in is one, well, two things. They only give you this little thing. What, what, what? You need one of those. For, you need one of these. To do bushings. Yeah, you need to figure because the, the the metal sleeves are not labeled, so you have to actually measure them. That's how that's how I just had to figure out all the different ones and for which control arm they go in. Oh, I think I figured it out by the length. I was gonna say because I never used the caliper when I was younger. But anyways, right. look, they give you this little dinky tub of lube. Do all these, and there's oh no wait, they give you some more. Do they? I don't know. I didn't see any more. Unless they're in the bags. No. There's no way you're doing the entire car with just this little tub. So I don't remember where I got this, but I bought extra things of lubes from somewhere. Was it even for cars? If you just search like energy suspension bushing, this is the same stuff. It's nasty. Oh yeah, wear gloves. Mm -hmm. Invest in gloves because this stuff is gross. Uh, last but not least is a set of C-clamp vice grips. These are make this job super, super easy. And on the Miata, can't, not in the FDR X7, but on the Miata, you can do everything by hand. You don't need a press at all. So we're gonna show you how to do that in one moment. So take your sleeve, take some lube, pop it all over it. It's a really messy job. So just for a warning for all you kids out there. And then I also put some on the inside of the bushing. I, I go nuts with it. If you're like really... Shit. You just put it on the number? Yeah, I couldn't see it. If you're really stingy with the lube, you could probably do the whole car with that little crappy bucket that they give you. But I don't... I've never had to re-grease my bushings. So let's put that out there. I put Zerk fittings in them, which half of them broke off like while they're on the car. Um, because the control arm articulates mm -hmm. so the spot that you put it, like just snaps it off. Um, so yeah, I've never had to re-grease, but see there's these channels inside the bushings. So I really try to load that up with grease and I've had pretty darn good luck when never having to uh, redo anything. So just line them up. Get it started, right? Yep. like that. I'm going to do the other one, then I'll press them all in with the uh, with the C-clamps afterwards. You think we should probably just set up a time lapse for this? Six, nine, nine. Uh, we'll just we'll take them through the process of one. Okay. Give them the real content, because otherwise the time lapse is like, you know, you only get so much. Well, I'm, what I'm excited for, the reason why I do a lot of time lapses, I'm excited to make one long time lapse from start to finish of the whole car Ooh, we're gonna do that. at the end. 15 minute exoset restoration. Yeah, maybe people will watch that one. Okay, so now that we have everything lined up, I'm gonna take our C-clamps here and we're just gonna use these to squeeze them on home. Look at that. Gotta loosen up a little bit more. We're gonna CP those control arms. <laughs> this is such a messy job. It's not hard, it's just messy. Yeah. This stuff, like, you just be wearing this. Okay. 
It is kind of satisfying. It has like that squish yep. as it goes home and you're like, oh. Oh my. Does that compare to anything else? That squish? No. No. Not this type of squish. This is definitely a new new type of squish. So this one we have to leave the pin hanging out a little bit. Look at all that grease. Yeah, we'll never have to lube these things again. So I just got back from Maine on vacation, and you know how many side by sides trails there are up there. Oh yeah. And you know, I think this, I think this thing's gonna be probably pretty narrow enough to fit on a side by side trail. You know, Matthew, while you were up in Maine having. A Grand old time. I was at home with Rona. Oh man. <laughs> Working remotely from my day job. Cause I ain't taking time off for nothing. Except for someone I can go do something. getting old and see now but it's actually much easier if you just press these in without the pins first so take your bushings everything's lube inside lube I can literally just push them in push them in and then you can take the pin the pins sometimes are a little bit tight and that you can use the vice grips for or if you have a vice a vice sometimes helps for the ones that are a little bit more Reluctant. Yeah, look at that. That was much easier. Much easier. See, kids, <laughs> work smarter, not harder. And that's kind of it. Do you want to show our finished uh, products, Matthew? Yeah. These are looking good. I'm excited about this. We got to get all the suspension hardware zinc plated. We'll go, what, full FE aspect? Yeah, we might as well send, yeah. them, send them a bucket, though. Bolts the zinc plate. Half of them are all crusty and rusty anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah. Looking good. Sick. And that's the end of it. Yep. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this content, give us a like and a subscribe. If you think it sucks, let us know because we want to hear that too. And check out our webinars on slipanglemedia.com. Help support the channel. It's a way to uh, support us without us asking for donations or Patreon. You buy some seats. You get to hang out with Matthew and I, we review the product, and then we give it away to somebody at the end. And you don't have to be present on the live to be eligible for the giveaway. So that's it for this one. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Until next time. Done.